template. Everybody has a template. So you've got a template for a radio script, a template for a TV script, a template for everything online, word count, spaces, banner ads, etc. And it's uh, usually limited to word count, like I said. And that process is write down 500 different headlines. I learned this over time. I used to write five perfect headlines that I thought were perfect. The process has changed now. I write like as many headlines as you can and change the idea a hundred times. This is what the most creative way to say things in the story of the fewest amount of words is. That's currently the process. Then you select your 10 favorites and you let somebody else select their three favorites and you agree on the best one. And it's not as time consuming as it sounds because usually you're dealing with a set of specifications from a client that's not allowing a lot of leeway. And there's always legal process and everything else. Sometimes you get one of these great clients that has to have the words, you know, 30% off in a headline. You're like, oh, well, I'm not going to spend much time on that. No offense if you're watching, but I'm not. Even in freelance advertising, even if you find the greatest client on the planet, they're occasionally going to want some sort of catalog headline where they're promoting something very specific, whether it be the new laptop, a new pair of boots, a new whatever, and they're going to offer it at a certain price or they're going to offer it for a certain discount and they're going to demand that that be in the headline or on the body copy. And you have to be resigned to the fact that that's got to happen and that you can't get super creative with that. So, it just doesn't take very long to complete those types of projects. Now, you, you owe it to the American public to, I'm not running for office, I swear. You owe, you owe it to the person reading it to make it interesting at least. So even if you're dealing with something that's drab as that, you've got to try to punch it up a little bit. This, the commitment I made several years ago, even when I'm writing boring advertising, which there are some boring clients and everybody can admit that, even when you're writing the boring stuff, you have to at least attempt to capture someone's attention and keep it. Otherwise, you're just regurgitating all the local, terrible used car dealership commercials that we have. 